Hey darling. Hey sweetie. What are we doing today? I'm not your mother hundred percent too sure. <laughs> We've left our last location, which was called Grado. Grado. It's actually really pretty. And uh, what did we have last night? Well, it was the uh, Assumption of Mary Day. No, Assumption. I think so, yeah. Of Mary Day. And there were incredible uh, fireworks, which I think we had a better view from the lagoon than the city itself. That was pretty, pretty cool, yeah. Anyway, today we're going to an anchorage which is probably in the middle of nowhere, no city, no shops. Half, maybe just under halfway to Venice, maybe halfway to Venice. Let's see how it goes. And uh, on the motors, we have two kilowatts going into the motors at the moment. We are doing four and a half knots, which is lovely. Uh, the only wind is coming from the side, so it's keeping us a little bit cool. Um, and yeah, the batteries are full at one o'clock already. Even though we had cloud cover this morning, uh, we got a bit of a late start, and uh, everything is going well. Uh, nothing to show you around except for a lot of blue water and it's a little bit of land on the one side. It's uh, a much flatter coastline than we're used to in Croatia. It hasn't been the most scenic trip out, so we are going past the place now called Manos, I think Doro, something like that, a big city. Uh, but other than that, the coastline is pretty flat, there's not much to see. Um, what I do see on the other side is there's a sailboat. I assume they're motor sailing at the moment. We've got a seven knot uh, headwind. Let's see who's faster. I mean, I saw them, I'm not sure. I'll check it out in a minute. So we've uh, caught up to the sailboat, he turned around a little bit, and then I heard his, the pitch of his motors change, so I assume he wants to go ahead of us. Um, we are doing. That. 1000 watts in each motor and 4.2 knots into a 7 knot headwind. Uh, now I see him pulling away a little bit, so he might be doing just an extra knot on what we are. Uh, what I don't understand is how do people sell standing in the sun in this heat all the time? We've got a nice big covered cockpit, but I wouldn't be able to stand there for hours a day. Going past a little fishing boat, so I think we're about three kilometers offshore. Uh, see the, the nice bit of shade on top, uh, hopefully, they're having a good day fishing. Uh, weather's pretty calm, very little wind, so it must be pretty hot. Uh, we are about uh, 20 kilometers from our destination, and we are doing eight kilometers an hour, so two and a half hours will be there. And we're just going past that uh, town I mentioned previously, Sabiadoro, the town of Sabiadoro, I believe it is. And I can see a couple of people on, uh, what do we call them? Parasailing. And uh, I used to be a paraglider, and people used to always get confused between paragliding and parasailing. Uh, paragliding, you're in full control, and this, you're being dragged behind a boat. I used to call it dope on a rope. I imagine it can be quite fun in this weather as well, and uh, you get a good view of the city around you. Uh, going past another sailboat. Uh, I think there's only about four knots of wind. These guys are definitely not motor sailing. And uh, I don't think they're going anywhere at any speed at the moment. Seeing how little solar power you actually need to move the boat very slowly, it's probably not a bad idea for everyone to have a, a small trolling motor on their boat and a solar panel, so if you do end up in a situation like this, you don't need to start the diesel engine, which is pretty much an all or nothing device. You either make a lot of noise and you go reasonably fast, or you don't move at all. Whereas an electric, you can decide to go very, very slowly and uh, use very little power or you can go a lot faster and use more power but you've got every step in between. 
Well, I suspect as the panels become more and more efficient and the motors become more popular, I think it will happen a lot more. by another yacht that seems to be having a bit of a break uh, fairly far offshore. Uh, normally I don't like these guys. They come past you really fast and they create these huge wakes and it shakes everything around and it's generally unpleasant. I quite like them when they're standing still. Stopped the motors for a little bit and uh, we have basically one knot of wind. I just thought I'd show you how smooth the sea can be when you've got that little wind out. Very, very calm. Let's check on the other side. Let's see the dogs. Very, very calm. In the distance, I've got these in Croatia as well. It's kind of like a inflatable children's play park. It's quite far. Um, looks like a lot of fun. And if I remember right, it was 25 euros per child per day to go and bounce around on these things. It really is like a like a giant bathtub today. The only noise is from the water swishing by at uh, 8 kilometers an hour, but it is as calm as I've ever seen the ocean. Almost makes me want to stop the boat and go for a swim, especially in this heat. Just an indication of why electric motors are so, so efficient. I've got basically 600 watts on each motor and I'm doing 4.2 knots in uh, pretty much zero wind and uh, zero swell which requires very little power to, to move a boat once you get it going. Uh, this speed I could do for 10 hours, uh, 1.2 kilowatts for 10 hours quite happily. Uh, without having any sun out, but at the moment it's, uh, it's just doing it on solar power. Uh, another quick uh, indication on efficiency, so I've got basically 250 watts on each motor, so 500 watts in total, and I'm doing 3.2 knots, or 6.1 kilometers an hour. Now at this speed, on the full battery pack I could get 29 hours, uh, so this speed I could do 24 hours um, without having any sun. And uh, this morning was a cloudy day, and even on a cloudy day I put more power than this into the battery pack. So if uh, if I needed to, I could pretty much go to sleep and wake up on the other side of the world at the speed. Um, I could do it non-stop, all day, all night, quite happily. In fact, I could probably do slightly more speed than this all day, all night, quite happily. Very calm day out here. No wind from any direction. How are you feeling, Candace? I'm with the dolphins. <laughs> if anyone knows where the dolphins are, tell me so I can head in that direction. Napoleon, what do you think of all of this? He thinks it's a good time for a nap. And Niles, what are you thinking at the moment? You think you want to you want to sit on somebody's lap, I think, okay, nice. Alright, let me pick up some speed. This is an interesting experiment, but it's time to get to where we're going. And there you go, it's easy to, to do five knots. It's just four point nine, it's five, there we go, five knots. I need one thousand and uh, probably one thousand and fifty on each motor. I think it's climbed up a little bit higher. In, uh, in smooth water, of course. So, 2.1 kilowatts gets me 5 watts of power. Let's show you something on the other side where you can actually see a bit of uh, civilization. Yeah, 
Oh, God. I can't see where. Alright, so Candace thinks she sees something. Let's have a look. Look. In the distance I there. The I think you're right. I think it's a stick of sorts. The camera can't even pick it up. It's fine as long as they're not in front of the boat. Alright, moving back to the other side. Have a look at the motors when we're doing five knots. It's for the fans. It's for the fans. <laughs> so funny, my And then we can hear some announcements on the beach. Somewhere there. Still doing five knots and it appears that there might be a, I think it's a pirate ship. Let's have a look. That's the best zoom I can get, unfortunately. I'm not the most stable, but yeah, it looks like it's one of these. I think it's a turbo thing. I see. A, it looks like it might be a mast. I'll try to go a bit closer and see if we can get a better view. And that's six knots. Uh -oh. <laughs> I was doing six knots and then I started cavitating, but it required. Um, seven kilowatts of power to do six knots so five knots is a much happier speed so 4.4 .4 knots on about 1.4 kilowatts of power very very efficient Of course, the smooth water helps. And as I said, that we get waked. Um, that black boat over there is called uh, La Perla Nera, the Black Pearl, and uh, it's doing six knots at the moment, so I won't catch it. And. Uh, that's as far as the Black Pearl goes, basically to the end of uh, a little town, where is it now? A little town called Bibione. And, uh, I guess they're all on their way back now. It's quite a busy beach down there, that's more or less where they turned around. Boat over there, and it's towing um, these two people. Two might be three. It's like three heads over there. Making a wake for us, so we're about to shake. But it actually looks like the water's getting a bit more rippled, and I think there's a bit of a breeze that's starting to come. You can see the little pockets of uh, little pucks on the water, or something like that. Let's go and see what the wind is doing. Yeah, not much more, but a little bit more wind. Uh, got five knots, and four knots. Hey, darling. Where's our boat? So put your hand to the left. All right. So everybody, All right. there it is. Oh, now you move around. Why is it so far offshore? Because my husband doesn't know what 200 meters is. No. It's 750. No, it's because the water is so shallow. That 
boat to park. That's the official anchorage. It's 700 meters offshore. It feels very weird having your boat parked there. This is a very nice beach. Sunset coming. Very wild, nothing here. A couple of people. So we've um, anchored just outside a little town called Kawarle, which is in the distance there. I'll zoom into it just now. But the weirdest thing, uh, there seems to be some cloud out, and it's almost as if the, the sea and the sky are like pretty much one colour. It's, it's quite eerie. I'm not, a, I'm not enjoying it just yet, but it is very, very unusual. Anyway, let's go see what cover lay looks like. Very exposed anchorage, there's uh, absolutely no shelter, but uh, in good weather, and I'm expecting very good weather tonight, we should be fine. So tomorrow we'll sail past cover and uh, hopefully tomorrow night we'll be somewhere in the Venetian Lagoon. That sky. That is quite something. We took the dinghy into shore. We're only in three meters of water. Uh, we took the dinghy into shore, and uh, maybe like 200 meters offshore, we we hit the ground. We had to get out and walk it in. 